When we were working only with arithmetic expressions, we had a notion of evaluating the expression. That just meant to go through and do the arithmetic and work out what number the expression represents. But with a variable expression, there's something important that we're missing. How could we evaluate 2x plus 3 if we don't know what number the letter x is standing in for? And the answer is that, in fact, we can't. In order to evaluate a variable expression, we have to know what number each variable represents. So we might be told, for example, to evaluate the expression 2x plus 3 when x equals 7. Notice this x equals 7 here. That tells us what number the variable x represents. OK, so how are we going to do this? First, everywhere that we see an x in the expression, we'll write a 7 in parentheses instead. So I have 2 a 7 in parentheses plus 3. And now, if I've done my substitution correctly, I should now have an arithmetic expression. I just evaluate that expression normally, following the order of operations. So 2 times 7, right? writing these next to each other, means 2 times 7 and then I add 3. Multiplication first, 14 plus 3 is 17. Notice the value that I got here depended on what number I plugged in for x. If I had plugged in a different number for x, I would have gotten a different result. Um, evaluating expressions where the variable appears several times or where there are several different variables can get a little bit trickier. So let's say we want to evaluate the expression a squared minus ab plus 2b squared when a is negative 1 and b is 4. Well, everywhere we see an a, we write a negative 1. Everywhere we see a b, we write a 4. So here I have an a squared, so that'll be negative 1 squared, right, that was a, minus negative 1 is a, 4 is b, plus 2, 4 is b squared. Okay, and now I just work out the arithmetic normally. Exponents first, right? Negative 1 squared, that means negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Uh, 4 squared is 16, so 2 times 16. Okay, no more exponents. Multiplication and division from left to right. So 1 minus negative 1 times positive 4 is negative 4, plus 2 times 16 is 32. Okay, and now addition and subtraction from left to right. 1 minus negative 4 is positive 5. 5 plus 32 is 37. Our final answer is 37. Notice we can also do this on the calculator. The calculator knows about letters. So here we're going to be using the letters of the alphabet. To enter the letters of the alphabet, we'll use this alpha button, the green button. And we can see the letters of the alphabet in little green type up above the keys. So we're going to take negative 1, and we're going to hit the store key and store it 
to the letter A. So I enter negative 1. I hit the store key. What that puts on the screen is a little arrow. And then alpha and the key with a little A over it. That's put the value of negative 1 in the letter A. Number 4, hit the store key, and then letter B. 4, store, here's the key with the letter B above it, so alpha, B. Let's put the number 4 in the letter B. And now I'm just going to enter my expression the way that I see it. A squared minus A B plus 2 B squared. Enter. And that gives me the same answer that I found by hand. So using that store functionality, we can actually evaluate on the calculator any expression that we were going to evaluate by hand.